Hi, I'm Marissa and welcome back to Chew in the Kitchen. Today we're going to be making a summer Thai flank steak that's grilled. I have all my ingredients ready for my marinade, so let's get started. I've already prepared everything for the marinade, so I'm going to go ahead and add two green onions, two cloves of garlic, and those are larger cloves, two tablespoons of ginger, fresh ginger. You gotta be careful with ginger because it could be a little potent sometimes. This is a fourth of a tablespoon of red peppers crushed. If you wanna make it spicier, you could add a little more. A tablespoon of brown sugar, a fourth of a cup of sesame oil, a fourth of a cup of soy sauce, three tablespoons of mint, and lastly, three tablespoons of cilantro. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add some fresh lime, one lime, And that's it. Today I went to the grocery store and I got these delicious fresh ingredients for my marinade. These are the days that I wish I had a garden that I grew cilantro or mint, but I don't. So I also picked up my flank steak. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add half of the marinade in with my flank steak. So to marinate it, it's preferred if you marinate it overnight, but if you're anything like myself, you're usually whipping it up pretty quickly. So I shoot for the two hour mark in the refrigerator. I'm just gonna mix it around a little bit and then I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the refrigerator. So it's been two hours. I'm gonna go ahead and place my meat on my charcoal grill. You can hear that searing, it looks beautiful. If you're wondering about when it's done, you can always use a meat thermometer. Um, but generally, I kind of just watch it over the next um, 10 minutes or so. True story from last year, Marissa sent me to get a meat thermometer. So I started shopping online, came across Chew God. And I said, well, this was meant to be. All right, I just got my meat off the grill. Um, it took about maybe 15 minutes or so, because it is a thin piece of meat for it to cook up. I then let it rest for five minutes before I went ahead and let it cut into it. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut it thinly against the grain. I just finished cutting up my meat. I also bought this broccoli slaw at the grocery store today. This is what I'm gonna use for the second half of my marinade so that I can mix it on up and create something yummy. I'm looking for some ideas of something that you'd like to see on my show. So please comment below if you have any suggestions. You could show your support for my channel by clicking the subscribe button below and you can log in using any Gmail account. Please follow me on Instagram at Chew in the Kitchen. I'll see you next week.